Welcome or welcome back on C-Screen. In this video, we're going to talk about property of natural logs. Okay, uh, so let's first of all see what natural logs are. This is the natural base exponential function. This is the natural log function. They are inverse function. Okay, and in fact, again, uh, no. Ln means this base log in base e. Okay, um, the property are the same like uh, the other uh, property we discussed in a previous video clip. Uh, the product property, the product property, the quotient property, power property, change of the base formula. Right? Uh, in this change of the base formula, we can use the natural log as a new base. And uh, natural log of 1, 0, natural log of e is 1. So let's see how this works. So we have this problem, write each expression as a single natural log. So we're going to use the power rule, and we're going to move the 3 on top of the 5. And then we have to evaluate 5 to the third power, 125. This is the final answer. Try number two, please. Well, number two, if you uh, let's see, um, again, move the to one top of the uh, number that goes with blocks and then simplify. That's it. What about this? Number three. Number three. We have natural log of seven pass, natural log of three. And that will be natural log of seven times three. If a sum of logs becomes a log of a product, so that will be natural log of 21. Pause this and try number four. Be careful, we have difference. If you end up with natural log of 12, then you did a wonderful job. Well, let's take a look to number 5 and 6. And number 5, we have 3 natural log of n minus 1 half natural log of n. So, the first thing, we're going to use the power rule and we're going to uh, move the coefficient, the number in front of logs, as exponents. So, we have natural log of n cubed minus natural log of n to the one half. Okay, so here, first of all, maybe you, you would like to change the rational exponent in a radical form. So that will be square root of m. And the last thing here, change the difference of logs in a log of a quotient. So this is the answer for number five. Pause this video clip and try number six. So if you end up with natural log of a squared e to the fifth, that is excellent. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back on C-square for more math video clips. Thank you.